hey guys gossip and reactions moristic tyrese gibson faced backflash after expressing admiration for a mexican family and stating that he sometimes wishes he was born latino the singer actor made the remarks on instagram in a post celebrating the strong family structure and entrepreneurial spirit he perceives in the latin community hmm. Well, I have uh, bad news for you, Gibson, Tyrus, because at the end of the day, yes, Latinos do stick together. They do help each other out. But there was a lot of racism amongst them also. Being black, dark skin, like Tyrus, Tyrus Gibson, I don't think they will give him that kind of treatment. Looking around those Cuban, Mexican, Colombian, all the light skin have a better outcome than the dark skin. So give me a break, Tyrese Gibson. Do your work. Do your homework before you open your big mouth. Before you praise somebody else's culture. Why don't we as a people change the culture? Why are we trying to jump to somebody else's culture without knowing what's there, what's behind the scene? I mean, I was watching this um, thing on YouTube where they named 10 racist country, most racist country. Do you know Cuba was one of them? And it really takes me to my core. I said, Cuba is so many mulattoes, so many black that how can Cuba be racist? Oh, yeah, it's there. You just have to go and do some research to find out. You could want to be somebody else. But when you get there, no what people that looks like you facing, then you're going to wish you go back to where you came from. Of course, all those parts he gets in movies, commercial, whatever, is because he's dark, tall, and beautiful and handsome. Of course, they give you credit for being tall, dark, and handsome in America. But you think if you were Latin American, tall, black and handsome you will get a chance to make it i don't think so my brother i don't think so so before you open your big mouth saying you wish you were somebody else's look at your own culture see what needs to change first before you give those people credit racisms are everywhere okay they stick together mexicans stick together because they were brought up to help each other to do things together to do it as a brother's keeper but when you come to other places in Latin America, you don't see wherever you go, period. Darker skinned people having it harder. <laughs> Where do you go around the world? You see dark skinned people are in charge, are with money, are doing way better than light skinned people. Where do you see that? And I'm not trying to be racist or anything. I'm just trying to bring it to you. I've been watching stuff from Africa. Latin America, the Caribbean. Those people have it a little lighter, a little easier because they're closer to white than being black or dark. So at the end of the day, being the way God made you, tall, handsome, and beautiful, and dark, it doesn't matter right ways you're from, you would have had it hard. It's just something with our skin tone. The darker the berry, the sweeter it is, and unfortunately, the harder you have it in life. So stop acting like a fool. Do your research. Do your own due diligence. And know everywhere around the world, if you are a black person, you're going to have it hard. So educate yourself before you open your mouth and want to be somebody else's because those people also have it hard. Right there in Mexico, they have Afro-Mexican. They don't even recognize them. They don't even allow them to claim they are Mexican. People that look like you. So as dark some Mexican can be because they have the soft hair, because they look like each other Indian, they allow them to claim they are Mexican. But I have watched stuff on YouTube. Those Afro-Mexican that look like me and you, they don't give them credit. The government don't even recognize them as people that live there. They live in the countryside of Mexico. So please give me a break. Subscribe. Thank you.